so I had this idea about ball bearings and if someone were able to make ball bearings out of wood long 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 time ago <clears throat> that they might have been able to make a blower that can push a lot of air through charcoal and iron and then we could bypass the copper age and the bronze age <coughs> hello everyone this is Kyle and um, so I had this idea about making this um, thing and so I looked up uh, ball bearings on YouTube and this woman made a video about ball bearings that um, uh, Da Vinci had made during the video um, a guy says that the um, uh, ball bearings uh, were that this setup was actually already used by uh, what you would call it uh, uh, American Native Americans to grind up corn or seeds or something all right so I'm just, I'm just gonna call this the Da Vinci bearings Okay, so here's here's the video. The three spherical balls can move freely, nested in a hemispherical base. The balls spread the friction created by the pressure of the vertical shaft. They are not noticed that the three spheres, not four, are needed. Four spheres would move unevenly and produce greater resistance. Made. Okay, <clears throat> so I made the same thing basically with uh, three ping pong balls and a plastic, a uh, plastic uh, Easter egg, and some um, hot glue and some uh, what you call it. Now I have my fan over here; it's on low at the moment, and this is like I don't know two, three feet away from it. And if you turn it a certain way. This, uh, this piece over here forms a little barrier and makes it so that uh, one side will spin easier than the other side. And anyways, so the thing is that this uh, setup is so amazing, it has so little friction that it just sits there and runs so easily. And my fan is on low. And here, just so you can see that I'm not, I don't have any electronics or motors or anything. So this, this is just a plastic bowl with uh, eh, this thing. You see the circle down here on the bottom. That's uh, where the, come on, focus, just focus. Oh my lord, it's working. Okay. Uh, it has a circle on the bottom where the ink rubs off onto the egg, which is the, the contact point between the ball bearings and the egg. And you know, and on the bottom of the bowl, you can see there's two rings around the bowl where the balls touch the wall. <laughs> there you go, and it just starts going again because of the fan. Okay, let's put it on my computer thing over here, and if you turn it certain, uh, if you turn it at a certain angle, then it will go faster. And let's turn on the fan to high. Okay, and then you turn it a certain way, and I found out that if you if you 
angle it down a little ways and it works even better. That's amazing. Anyways, so <coughs> there's this uh, guy on YouTube called Primitive Technology. Okay, and he has a video called uh, Blower and Charcoal. And he takes, uh, he's, he's the first guy on YouTube that I found that does all this amazing stuff just using like natural materials and knowledge. And uh, so he's one of the guys that I wanted to make this video for. <clears throat> Because uh, I want him to show that being able to build this out of wood would be possible. I would expect that these uh, these ball bearings at the bottom of the thing would have to be about the size of grapefruit or a softball, maybe. And uh, these impellers, these these uh, blades on the whole thing would have to be about six feet wide, and you'd have to lay on top of it. And you'd have to lay on top of it and um, wind it with your hand like that but uh, I would expect that it would be able to blow enough air to uh, be able to make it so that we could um, heat up wood wood fire <clears throat> so we could heat up fire well enough so that the, the fire actually um, will heat up um, yeah metal steel <clears throat> So that we could try to bypass the copper age and the uh, and the uh, bronze age, <coughs> and then just go straight to steel. I'm not saying that I'm smarter than the ancients. I'm just saying that I, I realized that if uh, humans back then knew about uh, ball bearings, that they could have done a lot better uh, with metal. And uh, you can actually put a little bit of weight, a little bit of weight on this, and the balls uh, splay out further at the bottom when you put weight on it. But uh, in reality, this bowl would have flat edges over here, way on the on the edge, because these balls, with this specific bowl and shape, will move out uh, wider. See that gap right there between the balls? They'll move out wider from each other as you push more weight on them. And at some point, they'll try to come out of the bowl. <laughs> but uh, anyways, this is amazing. It, is, it has very little friction, I think. Uh, I think somebody could actually make this out of wood. But also, in addition to Mr. Primitive Technology, hold on. So he made a type of blower, but he does this with his blower, and it's pretty awesome. So I'd like for him to try to make this. But there's also some other people. There's these people on YouTube, and uh, they're a group here in Oregon that um, <clears throat> do classes for, uh, you know, primitive technology and stuff like that. And so I'm going to go meet with them later today. And I'm going to suggest that they try to make this. And also I want to suggest that they try to make, um, let me see, hold on. Yeah, here we go. They have a blacksmithing class. And I'd like to get into this, but uh, it, it'd be pretty expensive. But I'd uh, love to do this with them. But uh, I was thinking about suggesting this to them, thinking that they might be able to uh, make this blower out of um, primitive materials and be able to make um, a hot fire for metal smithing. There's this thing called Making Copper the Ancient Way. I'm going to put uh, links to all these videos uh, in the description of this video. And these people take malachite, and which is uh, oxidized copper. It's a green jewel, 
and uh, they crush it and turn it into they take the malachite and uh, they crush it and turn it into uh, powder and they put it inside this little vestibule with uh, charcoal powder and see there it is right there <clears throat> and then they fire it and they have to blow on it for hours they have to blow on it for hours with several people blowing and I want to suggest to this um, um, uh, this class, these people that make these classes, that they have a course where they actually uh, show people how to make copper tools and then I guess bronze tools would be next. So I think, uh, I think these people that do this class would probably think this was pretty cool too. The charcoal, <clears throat> when it's inside the vestibule with the uh, green stuff, uh, the malachite actually takes the oxygen away from the uh, from the copper oxide, which is the green stuff. Hold on. Yeah, this is it right here. Take the copper, uh, takes the oxygen away from the green stuff, which is the copper oxide, and then turns it into um, you know, regular copper which is really interesting so I'm going to try to find a place here in Oregon that actually is a copper mine where we can get this green um, <clears throat> we can get this green ore from and we don't need the actual ore we just need sand basically ground up rock which I'm sure they'd be willing to give to us for a good cheap price and uh, then uh, I'm going to see if we can get these people at this uh, Tracker's Earth to uh, introduce a copper and maybe a bronze class too. Yeah, this is how they make the little things. It's neat. It looks pretty easy. I'm really interested in it. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to go to Tracker's Earth later tonight and bring this to them and leave it with them and suggest this and the copper thing to them and see what they say. Thank you very much for watching this uh, long 12 minute video. Uh, I'm going to put links to a bunch of uh, these videos in the description of this video so go check them out. See you later. Thank you.